Hello everyone, Kieran here from Scottish Lab Darts channel. In today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the Red Dragon Marlin Venom Edition. As you can see, just looking at them here, very visually appealing dart with that black and red colour scheme. Now, you'll see them better in the close-up section, but before we get there, the grip's very, very adequate. And the colour scheme, as I said, is very visually stunning. Comes applied with a black standard point. The short Nitrotech stems and the Yin Yang stem and fl uh, the flight system that has just released as well. $64.90 for these. Decent price for the level 1 machining as well in my opinion. But without further ado folks, will not stop me rambling on here. Let's crack on with the review. Right folks, here we go. We're into the close-up section for a dart that came out from the Red Dragon 2024 range. And we have the Marlin Venom Edition. Now the original Marlins were a very popular dart. Now these I would say are a wee bit nicer in my opinion. We've got the metallic red colour scheme through the dart as well. With the black PVD coating. In terms of the grip. As you can see we have a nice milled groove style grip throughout the entirety of the dart with exception to the ring cuts right here on the nose in that middle section and at the rear they do come supplies with the intermediate nitrotech stems and the red dragon yin yang flights in black and red as well come supplied with a standard black point which stick on the board really really well as you may as well know in terms of the dart it is a tapered style and it's center weighted so in terms of weight distribution, all the weight is in this centre section, which is not too bad, especially for us as rear grippers, with the way we like to have darts landing in the board like this as an example. Now, I definitely change the stems because I'm not a fan of the Nitrotech stems. There is a lot of people out there who are. They're 90% tungsten and they retail for $64.90. So it is a quite highly priced dart. They also come in 24 and 26 gram. This is a 24 gram model. And the length from here, where the point meets the barrel, to here where the stem meets the barrel, is 50.8 millimetres. So, st <clears throat> standard grip length in terms of a lot of the darts that Red Dragon and Wind Mall produce. And the width at the widest point, so at this centre section, at the widest point, is 7.8 millimetres. Now, with that grip, that milled grip, as you can tell, it looks very, very aggressive. And it's actually not very aggressive. I would have thought it was going to be a wee bit more. It looks a lot grippier than it actually is. In terms of grip on a scale 1 to 5, I'm going to give it a solid level 3 grip for these two sections. For the middle section, probably 2.5 because the grip there is not overly aggressive. Now, if you were to move, remove the metallic red paint, it would add to the grip a little bit more. But as it is... A pretty fabulous dart in my opinion but for 64 90 is it worth it you guys can let me know in the comment section i'll quickly run through the entirety of the dart itself here so you can see but let me know if they're worth it in your opinion so what i'm going to do now folks is i'm going to take them over to the board and we'll see how i got on with them Right folks, front section for the Red Dragon Marlin, as you've seen in the close-up section. So, let's crack on with it. First impressions uh, for a rear gripper, for obviously a bit more rear gripper. Very, very comfortable grip. Same place finger placement every time and that grip at the back is just phenomenal it's not overly aggressive but it's not smooth either so there is a bit of bite to it middle grippers these have got the thickest part of the dart with that standard ring grip but i'll do a couple more from the rear first and then we'll get into that Now 
Now these actually seem very similar to the one module Kerwin. The only difference is this is a torpedo-esque shape rather than the scallop shape. Let's go into the thickest part of the dart, folks. We're going to this middle section. We'll see how we got on with that. First impressions with the middle grip. Very standard ring grip. Decent level to it. I'd say level 3 grip is the scales I want to five for that. Now, this non -scal the other sections are 3.5 grip and a scale 1 to 5. Personally, the most comfortable part of this dart for me is a rear grip, is the rear grip, but that middle grip is nice. Right. Again, can't go wrong with the ring grip in the middle, so I'm going to try front grip, holding the tapered nose, so don't expect anything. Definitely a very nice all-rounder for those of you that like this shape. Very Daryl Fitton-esque. But let's try and get a couple in the bull and then we'll get wrapped up. Considering I had to go all the way to the left, I'll take that one in the 25. But without further ado, folks, Let's go get wrapped up. And there we go folks, that was my review of the Red Dragon Marlon edition. Venom edition, sorry. Very, very visually striking darts for the Marlon Venom editions. Coming 24 and 26 gram. Unfortunately, there are no lighter alternatives at the moment. I, c I do believe it could be something Red Dragon could potentially bring out in the future. Not much I would change on these, in all fairness. The colour scheme is absolutely fantastic. The grip, it's not overly aggressive, it's very nice in the hand, it feels very pleasant in the fingers. I changed the Nitrotech stem so I'd have to use a normal nylon stem or even the L-style setup that I used in the front section because Nitrotex and me just don't mix. But for 64 90 this is what you get and obviously the box as well which if you want me to start showing boxes in the reviews let me know in the comment section. Personally I don't think it's needed but for 64 90 you're getting a very apt dart with a very nice feeling grip. And if you're liking this kind of torpedo style, very worth checking out. But let me know what you think of them in the comment section. And obviously, if what you agree with, with in terms of the review. Personally, price-wise, pretty spot on for the level of machining and the quality Red Dragon always assure. But let me know what you think of them in the comment section. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me greatly grow the channel and helps me grow more and more as a darts content creator. But thanks everyone for taking the time to watch the video. Stay safe out there. And of course, keep on darting.